blessed love. I am the Honorable Priest Isaac. I am an official priest within the realms of Rastafari of the Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress. I also hold a certification in the craft of Accio Astronomy from Politecnico de Milano in Italy. Our universe and its maker has always been an intriguing subject for humankind. Astronomy is the study of everything in the universe beyond the Earth's atmosphere. Ancient astronomy is similar but pays special attention to the physical and spiritual values of stars, planets, moons, and other celestial objects. It also brings in the terrestrial component, being things on an earthly plane, such as plants, human organs, and connects them to the heavenly bodies. In this course, you will learn the makeup of various planets and stars, how to locate them in the night sky, along with their associated constellations. You will also be taught about the earliest civilizations known for their astronomical comprehension, namely Kush, also known as ancient Ethiopia, Kemet, called Egypt today, the Dogans, and the Bozos, as well as the civilization of Sumer. You will also learn about black holes, their nature and origin, as well as how the ancients viewed them. Ancient astronomy is the mother of archaeo astronomy and astrotheology. Both subject areas are covered by the Priest Isaac's Institute of Holistic Knowledge. Sign up today. Visit our website priestisaacinstitute.com or email us priestisaacinstitute at gmail.com for more information. Blessed love, my royal family, I do pray that all is well. We glorify in Augustus and Agas, Haile Selassie I, Honorable Priest Isaac here with you. I am definitely welcoming you into the Tiger's Nest. Family, I had a very pleasant surprise today yes the brothers of the united in christ israel united in christ iuic visited the caribbean island of antigua today yes now as many of you know i have an affiliation with the radio station the observer radio so today was observer day and at the Observer Radio, they actually blocked off the street to have a big celebration raising funds for the radio station. So I went down there. While I was on my way to the radio station, I was listening to the very same radio station. And I heard the brothers of IUIC, Israel United in Christ on the Observer radio station. And when I went down there, the brothers were crawling over the street. I am going to tell you what took place in a moment. This is gonna be beautiful. But before we go there, just a quick reminder for all of those who have been contacting me, let me first of all say how much I appreciate love. They say appreciate, but I appreciate love. All of you who would have reached out to me, asking me just to give you a few more days so that you could get the special. Remember, we had a very special celebration offer, which should have come to an end yesterday on the 5th of June. Now, this special offer would have literally given you the ancient astronomy course. You just saw the advertisement for that a moment ago. The ancient astronomy course coupled with the full international homeschool program. Now remember, and you're getting it for only $250. Now remember, just quickly for those who do not know, 
that the International Home School program is divided into three parts. You have your African history and heritage plus astronomy. You have your biology, plus you have the early childhood education program. Now, remember, you can order any one of these programs specifically. You don't have to get the bundle. But when you get the bundle, of course, it's more economical for you. The Ancient African History and Heritage plus Astronomy course is only $199. This is the International Home School program now. And remember, the full course would last you for an academic year a whole year, $199 for the full year. And of course, every day the, the, the child will be engaged in their homeschool class. Good. Then the biology, similar, $199. Then the early child educational program, only $110 for the, the academic year. I wonder if you comprehend what I'm saying. And when you bundle them together, it is only $297. But I'm showing you now that we are offering that full bundle plus, plus the ancient astronomy course for only $250. Now, remember, that was a special celebration offer that we had that was supposed to come to an end on the 5th of June. And I am very thankful for all the people that really took advantage of that. But I must say, family, I think we had more people linking us saying, please, give me a little chance. I, I, I'm going to get pay on the weekend. I heard all sorts of things. Well, to be honest, I am so honored to see that there are those of us who understand the value of what we have and, and literally found a heart imparted to their little ones to their children you must understand it eh? you cannot play around with the psychology of our youths we need to literally take charge of that and in many cases remedy it you know so family remember the link is in the description below the video to visit the website priestisaacinstitute.com or send me an email priestisaac institute at gmail.com to get more information on our ancient astronomy course to get more information on our international homeschool program and all the good things that we have to offer here at the institute now we're going to get into the discussion as it relates to the brothers from the iuic but before we go there listen to this Family. I mean that family. Our youths, our young ones, our children, we need them, redeem them, and clean them. You see them or else the enemy will come and scheme them. Family. I mean that family. Education for the nation that's full of salvation, biology, astronomy, and African theology, geography. I love that family. Whatever the age or the stage that youth will be engaged with tutorials, activities, and videos from the studios of the Priest Isaac Institute of Holistic Knowledge. Family. The International Homeschool Program is designed and recommended for all ages. The psychological state of our children is very important especially in the environment that most of us live in. The International Homeschool Program provides online classes, activities, and videos that are fun for the youth and edifies them of their African heritage as well as the higher sciences. To enroll your family today, visit www.priestisaacinstitute.com, go to the main website, and search for Youth Corner. Or you can email priestisaacinstitute at gmail.com for a course sample. Thank you, thanks. All right, royal family, give thanks so 
Of course, if you're just coming in, just a reminder to you again, for those who have been inquiring about the course, the celebration offer for the courses specifically, it is still on, the offer is still on, and it is on until the 7th of June. So no longer the 5th of June, you have until the 7th of June, until the 7th is done, that you can literally still get the offer. You get both ancient astronomy and the International Homeschool Program for only $250. Make sure you take advantage of that offer. Beautiful. Now, as I was saying today, I had a beautiful surprise. It, it was beautiful because, you know, I've never seen the brothers in flesh like this. And I'm telling you, it had to be at least mm, 50 to 60 brothers. No exaggeration filling the streets of Antigua with their megaphones and their placards and the different posters that they have proclaiming their doctrine. And I must say, I mean, these are my brothers. And to some degree, they are expressing consciousness. I say to some degree, because a lot of what these brothers speak about to me is not conscious at all. How on earth am I going to look at my black brother and say that I am not an African? And these stinking Africans, they were trying some of that around here. But the thing is, eh, I must say, the people in Antigua are a bit different. Too many people were not really taking them on. <laughs> and what's interesting, eh, what's interesting, the street was packed with people. Because as I said earlier, they were having a big event there at the Observer Radio downstairs. So a lot of people were there. and But I mean, people, a lot of ones don't know, they didn't know who they were. You know that. They don't know who these people were. I think they came on a cruise ship and they just came for like about two hours and they went back and they were gone. So that that's how they do their thing. But I must say they, 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 um, the, 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 the method of teaching, I don't think it was too effective. It's, it's a lot of noise, you know, a lot of noise. And, 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 oh, yeah, no, no, these stinking Africans, you're not Africans. And a lot of noise and Although, again, within what they were saying, because they were putting a hot fire on the vaccine and, and you know, Freemasonry and a lot of good stuff that, you know, we could agree with. But the, the method of teaching, I'm telling you, <laughs> a lot of people were very disgusted. But anyway, when I made myself known, one of the brothers approached me right away, trying to bring me on the camera. Listen, man, this is General Priest Isaac here, eh? I've studied these brothers. I know their whole technique. I know their strategy. Impossible for you to get me caught up in that clown show when they're going to have a megaphone in my face making the most noise. Come on, Rasta man. Come on. Do you know? The and then you see me speaking from, from the YouTube and can't even hear my voice because the mic is not on me. Come on, man. I've seen that play a million times. I told you it's about almost a hundred of them out there. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I told the brother, I took his paper and I really had something to do. And I told him I would return. And here it is. I returned. But when I returned, they were looking to pack up and they, they got themselves single file and they went about their business. But again, the little that I would have heard, it's the, you know, the regular speech that you get from the brothers of the IUIC. They were promoting the 12 tribe of Israel chart. I mean, that's something that really makes no sense. Sometimes, you know, when I speak of people's belief and theology, I don't want to sound disrespectful. I mean that from my heart. I really don't want to sound disrespectful. But this is one of the dumbest um, uh, aspects of a philosophy I've ever heard. Trying to divide the 12 tribes of Israel amongst islands. I mean, this is something else. Even, even the 12 tribe of Israel, Rastafari, with their concept of, you know, if you were born in January, you're Naphtali, and if you're born in uh, July, you just because you're born in July, you are of the tribe of Judah, not of the constellation sign of Levi, but of the genealogical tribe of 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 Judah, when the book of Chronicles clearly show you that Israel was reckoned according to genealogy, not according to the stars. Of course, this is, again, Priest Isaac is speaking to. And, and of course, when you were born has a lot to do 
with your spirit, has a lot to do with your character. But when you were born has nothing to do with your genes. It's two totally different things. And then where you were born. So you want to tell me, my good brothers, because I was born in Jamaica. That means I have to be a Benjamin and, and these brothers will fly into Jamaica, you know, man, and tell everybody with a Jamaican accent, you see me, that they are of the tribe of Benjamin. Every Haitian, everybody in IT is a Levi. I am telling you, everybody, um, the Dominicans, not from Dominica, I believe it's Santa Dominica. They're talking about everyone there is Simeon and the Negroes, which are the people in the U.S., they're all Judah. You see, this is why these brothers need to study their history. Because anyone that's sound in history would never say these things. You comprehend. Now, I know there are those of you who don't believe in the tribes of Israel at all. You don't want to hear nothing from the Bible and X, Y, Z. But that's not the main point I'm making you. The point that I'm making is that even if there were tribes of Israel, the, the full works, to reckon them in this way, I mean, it's really, it's really off. That's the point. It's off. It makes no sense. There's no Hebrew Israelite can explain this. That I mean, I've heard a few try to explain it, but I'm telling you, I'm not ashamed to say I'm an intelligent person. This makes no sense. It cannot be explained with no scientific explanation. You know? Even the flat earth has more, you know, a reasonable, more reasonable discussion. That's why you see, I like to entertain the flat earth discussion. To me, it's quite scholarly. Yeah, but this stuff here is a waste of time. Straight up. And I, I'm, I, you know, I'm not dismissing the tribes of Israel. Of course not. In fact, you can reckon them too, but not this way. The American Indians are God, G-A-D, the tribe of God. The people from Panama are Zebulon. Now tell me. And Argentina people and the people in Brazil are Asher. Come on, man. Have you studied your history? But you see, this is the problem. Because you're going to tell me we're not Africans. You're going to say Africans sold us into slavery. Now this is, this is just as bad as the unconscious person. You know, the unconscious is going to say Africans sold Africans into slavery. Now we have some Hebrew Israelites brothers telling me, that Africans sold the Hebrew Israelites into slavery. All the Hebrew Israelites, all 12 million of them came out of Africa. None of them remain. And nobody that was put on a ship that came over here are Africans. It was all the Israelites and the Africans stayed over there. Listen, family, I know some of you listening back in this stuff. I'm not here to try to change your mind. I'm just telling you, I mean, listen, if these brothers didn't come to Antigua today, I would not even be speaking about this. But since they paid me a visit and they came to the land, I mean, and it was a pleasant surprise, I think, that I should just at least give a report. You understand? Yeah. I already told you several years ago. Listen to me. Those of you who have never heard this story, listen to this. And you will see how foolish this is. I already told you several years ago, a sister reached out to me after a program like this because some of these brothers were trying to dis Haile Selassie. So I had to straight up mop the floor with them. So someone heard that and she reached out to me and she was giving me her experience because she believes she's a Hebrew Israelite or an Israelite and she is correct. I'm not denying none of that. Eh, eh. I am an Israelite. The, I am the real light. Is real light. That's me. Check my melanin, man. That's light. The Ebonites. Yeah, we is the real light. What are you talking about? For sure. The first begotten. <laughs> so she was a part of the group. And I don't think it was IUIC though. But she was a part of the group. A lot of them have the same philosophy, the one West people. Then. But anyway, she was a part of the group and uh, she was well accept accepted. She's a black woman. Somehow it leaked out that her father was an African by birth and then everything came to an end. Because of that, she couldn't be a part of the group anymore. 
she uh, overnight she became a stinking African. Now, this is what I'm telling you. That is what you call religion. You see how religion damages you? You see some of us that say we are black conscious and, you know, we can put aside our differences. Not when you think like this. Because these brothers will tell you that, hey, you know what I mean? We ain't working with no stinking Africans. So then again, so how can you speak of anything that has to do with the unification of us as an African people? You know, sometimes it's sad, eh? Those of us who have intelligent conversations. Look, we just come out of African Liberation Day. We have an intelligent conversations as it relates to our history and our future, you know, you know, our Sankofa. And then you have to engage with brothers of this level that you're wondering which twilight zone are they coming out of asking me where I was born. Oh, you were born here? That means you're Benjaminite. That, I mean, come on. Like, yeah, like that's it. No matter nothing, that's it. That ain't good, man. That ain't good at all. And you know, <laughs> there's a reason why we have to say them brothers and and you 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 don't see the sisters at all. But you see, that's interesting, you know. I want to present something here that's from our, our good brother, brother, uh, brother Bishop Nathaniel. Give thanks to the brother and you know, enough love to him as well. And this is a, a an uh well, I think it's a a, a series of clips. <laughs> that I came across uh, with Brother Nathaniel um, uh, giving his impression on women. This is interesting. Now, let's just listen to this. A lot of what he's saying is scriptural. And you know, these brothers do not speak unless they're quoting scripture. You understand? But let's listen to his quote and his interpretation. And tell me what you think. Women are not in the image of God. Man is the image and glory of God. Woman is the glory of man. The woman was created for the man. That's why she was created. Sister, are you submitting yourself to your husband? No. Then that proves you don't believe. Your husband is telling you to do A, B, and C. You're saying, no, you're not the boss of me. You can't tell me what. Yes, he can tell you what to do. The law commands the woman to be silent and be obedient. There's levels and depths to how Satan runs. And when he goes through the woman, and you men is following behind us, chitty chat, chat, chat. That's another level. Look at all the churches with all those women. That's because the devil's up in there. The man is the leader of the woman. The woman was created to serve you. Don't marry an evil, stupid woman. Silly, silly women. Stupid. See, the women go, oh, you're just chauvinist. You're a misogynist. No. God told us to set our face against you. Why? Because you're pushing feminism. Unbiblical, ungodly, satanic. Eventually, you have to pull the trigger because this woman ain't submitting to you. And although, although it's a, a, a compilation, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, that pull the trigger thing. I'm going to, how should I put it now? I don't want to believe. No, because you see, sound bites, eh? Sound bites. I'm not here to make enemies with my brother or the brothers. I don't want to believe when he said pull the trigger. That's what he mean. I'm going to tell you why that. Because I would have listened to some other brothers, eh? I, I'm not going to even pull them out now from, from um, uh, the ISUPK. And I'm telling you, one of these brothers were going in on the woman, eh? Listen, man, you, you know me. And I, I cannot see a woman and a man, they're not the same. They're the same, but they're not the same. They're created uh, uh, equally, but I don't see them equal. No, man, I'm not playing them games. I don't play them with those games. Eh? A man is a man and a woman is a woman. A lion is a lion and a lioness is a lioness. They have different um, positions. It's the wicked world that come and try to make everything equal. So I'm with that. That's for sure. You understand? I don't see no man trying to have no babies and pretending he's pregnant, although they have a few queer roles that would try that. In fact, it's because we cannot see the 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 you know the difference of the between the man and the woman and put them in their rightful place. That is why we have so much mix up today. He wants to be she and she wants to be he, which is pure foolishness and sickness. But still. 
when you have a religious, heavy religious mind frame like the brothers here, then you're going to take it way overboard. To be honest, you will even become abusive to the woman. Abuse, abuse is not just um, licks and kicks and boxes. It, abuses is, uh, abuse can come in neglect, denial, um, you know, uh, uh, bringing you to an inferior level. All of that, just the thought that you would have of the woman. You you, you obviously can't see the woman as a goddess. Remember in ancient Africa, you know, the, the, the God is male, female, and child. God is the family. But then you see that's the problem. When you don't see yourself as an African, then the thing gets haywire, you know. But anyway, family, you know, I just said I wanted to share my little experience. It was nothing too big, you know. The brothers just came and basically... Um, flooded the streets here in Antigua today, doing what they do best. I must say they tried to get me in front of the camera so they could, I guess, ball in me, but that didn't work. And I was when I was ready for a civilized exchange, they were ready to go back on their ship. They even gave me the information and said I could contact them. But the thing is, you see, the reason why I could speak about them, you see, the reason why I could highlight even ISUPK, and it's not in person, is because I would have reached out to all these people before. That's why when I see them talking smack, I'm quick to go for them because I would have reached out to all these people before. Either if it's just for a simple interview, not to challenge them. I don't want no argument. I just want to give you a platform to talk. Everybody know me. I'm not no big challenger when you come as a guest on my program. If you say something way off, I'm going to ask you, so what do you mean by that? You know, and I would have challenged them also, especially as it relates to the concept of the true biblical land of Israel. I would have sent a brother Nathaniel the challenge several times, even call him out live. I know somebody from the IUC would have heard this. You get what I'm saying? So, so that is why I don't hesitate to speak my speech <laughs> as it relates to anything dealing with these brothers and what they promote but again hey brothers i am very uh, uh honored that i would have seen the the uh the soldiers on the ground today and they would have added some color i would assume to the land and a bit of entertainment to some of us so give thanks for that so yes royal family again you know you have another chance you have until the 7th of June, royal family. I'm telling you, your young ones are going to appreciate this. And as I said, eh, for those of you who are checking the homeschool part of it, even if your children go to school, this is a supplement. This program would act as a supplement. And it's rather worse. Going to the school, you need to have some sort of program to debrief the young mind. You need to have some sort of agenda to set them straight or set them right after going through a whole day's worth of that level of education that is not going to teach them of their Afrocentricity. You comprehend. So definitely, I would encourage everyone to take advantage of this. This is a, this is a very, uh, I would say, inexpensive investment into the child's future and their psychology and their mind frame. These courses are not designed to give you a certificate to get a job in. These courses are designed to get in your mind and to straighten you out. You understand? So yes, family, give thanks for those who would have reached out. And even those who didn't reach out, give thanks to those who reach out. So now you have a chance, only $250, family, okay? for the benefit of the young mind, yeah, give thanks, life give and the keep of life. Yes, family, shalom. Holy Manuel, I, Celestia, Ja, Rastafari, bless. Family, I mean that family. Our youths, our young ones, our children, we need them, redeem them, and clean them. You see them or else the enemy will come and scheme them. Family. I mean that. Family. Education for the nation that's full of salvation, biology, astronomy, and African theology, geography. Family. 
I love that family. Whatever the age or the stage that youth will be engaged with tutorials, activities, and videos from the studios of the Priest Isaac Institute of Holistic Knowledge. Family. The International Homeschool Program is designed and recommended for all ages. The psychological state of our children is very important, especially in the environment that most of us live in. The International Homeschool Program provides online classes, activities, and videos that are fun for the youth and edifies them of their African heritage as well as the higher sciences. To enroll your family today, visit www.priestisaacinstitute.com, go to the main website, and search for Youth Corner. Or you can email priestisaacinstitute at gmail.com for a course sample. Thank you, thanks.